So as a content creator here on YouTube, you found out that you have been doing all your possible best on your YouTube channel uploading content as other creators. But you found out that your channel is just stuck in that particular spot. You are not growing, you are not falling, you are just stagnant. On this video, I'm going to tell you three habits that almost destroyed my YouTube career. So I would advise you pay attention to this video and watch this video to the end so that you'll be aware of these three habits that are destroying a lot of creators. So guys, without wasting much of your time, let's dive into the video. Number one is TikTok. See, as a YouTuber, you don't need to have TikTok on your device. Yes, I said what I said. If you really want to grow on this space called YouTube, you need to do away with TikTok. Make sure you delete TikTok from your phone because you see that particular app, it is a very big distraction for every YouTuber who is planning to grow on YouTube. Yes, I said what I said. I remember when I was trying to grow my YouTube channel, I was caught in the web of going to TikTok every year and there. You can just stay and be swiping through your app and you may just come across TikTok and you just say, let me just, um, you know, open it and see what is going on there. By the time you scroll one, two, three, you will see something that will definitely capture your attention. By the time you scroll one and you saw DJ Chicken, you scroll again and you saw Gay Gay talking about Opue, Opue, Opue. Before you know it, you have watched one Opue, two Opue, three Opue, four Opue. Before you know it, you have been you know, Opueing your whole day. And by the time you know what is going on, the day has, you know, wasted and you end up creating nothing. Instead of you to be creating, you'll be the one consuming. Assuming that Gege did not post those videos you are watching on TikTok, I'm not sure you'll be there watching it at the first place. So the second thing is to avoid creators who create how to grow tutorial kind of content on YouTube. <laughs> I am not here to spoil market for anybody, but you see those creators who create how to grow on YouTube, I would advise you avoid those set of people. Don't avoid them completely. I'm not trying to say that what they are teaching on their channel is 100% wrong or is not helping creators in any way or any form. It is actually helping a lot of creators, but as a new YouTuber, you need to put in the work more than you listening to those advices. Because if you keep binge watching those videos, you end up knowing too much on YouTube. And at the end of the day, you will get overwhelmed. YouTube doesn't care about your knowledge about the platform, what they want to know. They want to see you putting in the work, okay? The work is very important. No matter anything you know on YouTube, if you don't put in the work, you can never grow you can never grow so avoid watching all those um uh, creator tips how to grow on youtube to so how to get four thousand watch hours in two days how to get two million views in 24 hours turn 10 these 10 things on your youtube channel if you want youtube to recommend you see all these things are just big big lie big big fat lie there is no 10 things you will turn on your youtube channel that will make youtube to recommend you there is nobody you, unless you are Cristiano Ronaldo or Mr. Beast that will get 4,000 watch hours in two days. Please stay away from all this advice. All these advice are just here to, you know, tell you what you want to hear and make money for themselves. They don't really care about you the way you think they do. So avoid creators that create how to, how to grow on YouTube kind of content. There are other things you can learn from those people, but you see all this how to grow, how to grow, how to, how to get views, how to be recommended, how to make you to suggest you the right way. I saw a video the other day, somebody posted, you are uploading videos on your YouTube channel the wrong way. And when this guy actually showed the wrong way that creators are, are, are using to post their videos, that particular wrong way she's talking about is my best uploading method. And it has been working well for me. So a lot of people were on the comment section applauding her, thanking her for, you know, sharing that uh, 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 secret. Please, these are big fat lies. So don't let all these creators deceive you with their with their uh, 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 advices. Nobody knows this platform like YouTube. Even YouTube self doesn't even know the platform. YouTube you, YouTube's channel on YouTube is struggling for subscribers. It's struggling for views. So don't think you'll be the one that will just come here and all of a sudden you just skyrocket, boom, and you just blow overnight. So pay attention to creating more than consuming because you end up getting overwhelmed by all this advice the last thing you need to do on your channel is to be inconsistent <laughs> i know a lot of you will be saying what is this young man saying yes be inconsistent 
because a lot of creators have been telling you guys to be consistent, be consistent, be consistent, be consistent. I am not here to tell you guys to be consistent on your YouTube channel if you want to be successful on YouTube. I will only tell you to have a target. Have a target instead of being consistent. I have seen somebody that has a YouTube channel that has over 1000 videos and this channel just have barely 300 subscribers. So imagine, as you mean, let me just say, if out of these 1000 videos, each of those videos brought in 11 subscribers, this guy must have gotten 1000 subscribers. But these videos can't even pull one subscriber for him each. So what is the essence of being consistent on your YouTube channel when you can see that this thing is not converted to success, okay? Don't be consistent doing the wrong thing. But have a target, okay? If you go to a fish pond now, you want to catch a fish. If you put your bait in a, in a pond that has fish in, a lot of fishes in them, you will definitely catch fish. But if you place your bait in, in a pond that has little or no fish at all, you will not catch at all. Even if you catch, say, if you, it will, you will sweat. You will, you will search and search and search till you finally get that fish. So I would advise you place your nets or your bait in a pond that has more fish what am i trying to say look for niches that are proven niches that are working already look for creators watch videos watch videos that have performed well on youtube and jump on them recreate those kind of content jump on trends create recreate trends convert it to your own way you know rebrand re it and upload it on your youtube channel trust me it will do well imagine you just go to google and search um how much is a nike shoe guess what google will start pushing ads of nike shoes to you because they just saw your search history and they noticed that this person would definitely want to buy a nike shoe and if you can push this ad to this person this person will definitely purchase from this advertiser so that's how the algorithm works the algorithm check the search history of creators on youtube so imagine somebody is searching um how to fix uh how to fix my news for those creators who create a uh, um, 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 beauty kind of content. So how to fix news. So maybe you have a, con a content on your channel that talks about how to fix news. Because of that person has such how to fix news on your channel. Even if that person did not see your videos at the search. Maybe the person watched a video that came up at the search. And watched that video to the end, liked and subscribed. Due to that person has watched that video to the end and liked and subscribed. And you have that video also on your channel youtube will now say okay let's push this this um other person's videos to this person because they see that this person watched this video to the end and this video might also be useful for that person and trust me 80 percent of the time it is always correct youtube push that video to that person and 80 percent of the time that person will definitely click on your video because maybe the first video the person was not satisfied or maybe that person still wants to know your own opinion too concerning how to fix news by so doing you are getting views and if that person watch your video youtube will now look for another creator who made something similar to yours and also suggest it to that person so that is how the algorithm works the algorithm gets videos from creators and serve it to the viewers so put out more content keep uploading content if you are doing one thing every single time and it's not working the views are not converting you have to re like you'll have to rethink Try new strategy, try new pattern, new thumbnail styles, and see what will work for you. If that thing works, then stick to it. Fire down. But with time, you still also need to do some little touching, some little rebranding also as well. So guys, that is the three habits that would save you from this chain of <laughs> failure. So if you want to be successful like me on YouTube, just the way I am, because this thing you are seeing on my hand right now is a YouTube plague. This is a YouTube award. And you cannot get this thing by failing on YouTube. Only winners get this award. So if you want to win like me and get your own YouTube award before the year runs out, now this is the opportunity for you to take this advice very seriously. Go now, delete your TikTok. Avoid all these um, how to grow tutorial tips on YouTube. Be intentional with your content. Have target. You know, go for trends. Go for niches that are proven. Okay? Don't just go there and start saying, I want to be myself. I want to I want to start new things. Hmm. You go, oh, do. And then they start new team for YouTube. You go follow who no road. You go follow um content uh, strategy where they work for the platform. YouTube no come to YouTube is here to satisfy their audience. They are not here to you know to do that uh, test running with you. Maybe when you don't gather a lot of audience, and hey, you can now switch to the kind of content you want to be making on your YouTube channel. But for now, 
follow the thing that is working follow the winning team that's what i will advise you okay guys thanks for watching if you watch this video to the end and you got value from this video do well to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to like subscribe and also share to your friends who are struggling on their youtube journey till next time see you guys on my next video and bye for now